What's up my fellow royal enthusiasts, today's headline. Meghan and Harry's master plan for future and mast as couples seek change. Meghan and Harry took part in a groundbreaking interview to mark the beginning of Black History Month this October, where the Duke of Sussex addressed the alleged problems the UK has with racism. Meghan praised the Black Lives Matter protests and described them as beautiful when speaking to the Evening Standard. The couple also denounced structural racism and pushed for young people of colour to be able to start their lives with new potential. Harry said he went through an awakening over racial issues after marrying Meghan, after the royal faced scrutiny in the past for using a racial slur when in the army, and for once wearing a Nazi uniform to a fancy dress party. Now the couple have a new deal with Netflix to produce documentaries on causes close to their hearts, and will launch the Archwell Foundation soon. Royal fans are eager to see where the pair channel their efforts and global status now that they have left the firm. As a biracial woman, Meghan has often spoken about the struggles she has faced. When she was on a royal tour in South Africa, she reminded the crowd, I am here with you as a mother, as a wife, as a woman, as a woman of colour, and as your sister. Over the recent months, the two have turned towards the Black Lives Matter campaign. Megan also recorded a video message for the graduates of her old school, the Immaculate Heart School, where she addressed the George Floyd protests in the US. An insider told Vanity Fair earlier this year, this scenario has weighed heavily on them both and has taken up a lot of their time and energy. Expect to see a shift of their focus into the campaign over the coming days and weeks. The insider then explained to Vanity Fair that the Sussexes were having private conversations but intend to make some of their public and show their work from behind the scenes at some point. Town and Country's report from June indicated that Meghan and Harry were particularly keen to help the people on the ground. After a period of reflection, it appears the couple may apply what they have learned to a Netflix documentary. Reports have claimed that they are thinking of focusing one program on a co-founder of Black Lives Matter. However, in June, the Queen's former press secretary, Dickie Arbiter, said, What's happened in the States is an absolute tragedy, and it should never have happened, but unfortunately it did. Had Meghan and Harry still been in the UK and working members of the royal family, that speech could have happened. I'm talking about the whole speech, end of. It's highly politicised because of the very nature of what it is. He said that Buckingham Palace would have blocked either Meghan and Harry had they tried to make such a statement in the past. The Sussexes have received a great deal of criticism for urging voters to hit the ballot box in the upcoming presidential election, especially as the royals are expected to remain apolitical. However, the couple have shown they are not afraid to dip their toe into the political waters. The battle of racism will be especially close to Meghan and Harry's heart, for another reason too. Their one and a half year old son, Archie Harrison, is the first royal with black heritage to be born into the firm. So there you have it, more on the line for the Sussexes to fight for and the reason why they are fighting I guess. Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, hit that bell icon for the latest updates, turn notifications on and tune in tomorrow for more royal news.